In today's video, McBurney's late equalizer ends Chelsea United a point. Chelsea to sell big names to comply with the FFP regulation. Also today, latest Chelsea transfer rumors. I can't believe. <laughs> I cannot believe. What a shame. What a shame. The luck has turned that way round. The luck has turned that way round. Unsurprisingly. Welcome back to a new video, the Colors Blue Chelsea SC. Sorry, guys. Uh, it's a shame. I mean, I was hoping that we could get these three points tonight, honest. And I was really holding on and holding and holding until three minutes in the injury time, the match of Chelsea playing away at Sheffield United, where a late equaliser from McBarnes denied Chelsea the three points. So if we are dreaming overall to get a chance to reach the sixth position this season and play for the European Cup next season, let's forget about it. No chance. No chance! And now I'm quite furious really, really furious. How long does it take for anyone there to realize that everything is wrong at Chelsea FC this season? I have had my girlfriend, Fiona, to remind me to be positive. I said, but you're, she was telling me, why are you always negative, always negative? And I said to Fiona, Find me anything positive I can talk about when I'm talking about Chelsea this season. She's not a Chelsea fan. She's not into football anyway. But getting back to what I'm trying to say, you cannot be positive at all when you talk about the club I love. Because there is nothing positive this season. Nothing. I wish there was something positive. But can you find something positive about the team we have this season? I mentioned in my previous video about the issue, issues, no issue, many issues we are having this season, not just because of a manager that is not really competent, competent, to, the, to be the manager of Chelsea FC. A board, a hierarchy, owners, the owners, the club, they were also not efficient and not, I would say, professional enough to hold on a club as important as Chelsea Football Club. Okay? And also, we have all these injuries, constant. Now with Cole Palmer injured tonight, I can say that all of the Chelsea players this season have had injuries, all of them. And in 30 years I've been a Chelsea fan, I repeat again, I don't want to be boring, I never remember Chelsea to have had so many injuries like we have now. This makes me, make me sweat, honestly. This is stress. This is pure stress when you need to talk about the team you love so much in such a way. Right. Let's start to analyze the match that Chelsea typically play every time, every Saturday or Sunday or middle of the week. Typically, as usual, we start attacking, keeping good possession of the ball. Today, in the first half, we had 75% of 
of the possession of the ball with one shot on bloody target. One! Well, guys, when all of us Chelsea fans hope that Chelsea could have perhaps scored another goal to extend the lead, maybe to 2-0 or 3-0, things that have not happened this season and never will happen. They will never happen. Never. So what happened is that, that in the 32nd minutes of the first half, Sheffield United with Poco equalized. Typical of Chelsea this season. Okay? With Chelsea having 75% of possession of the ball, we allowed them to equalize. We allowed a team that is sitting bottom of the league managed to squeeze an equalizer against Chelsea. Now, I mean, everyone aside will see us as a middle table team. Middle table team, not as a top team. Even if they re remember that Chelsea is Chelsea, they will realize that Chelsea will always be sitting 10th, 11th, 12th, 10th, 11th, 12th. And when I thought today that we were going perhaps to reach a better position, perhaps 9th, it didn't happen. It can happen. And that's the way the cookies work for Chelsea this season. And you can change it. You cannot change it. Now, should I talk about individual performances? What is the point? What is the point? Jackson, dead. Running like a yo-yo up and down. He can, he can even get a run that is falling on the floor. Imagine try to, to shot on target, or to, 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 pull, to score a goal, okay? Then we have Casado, that again is not proving is worth 110 million at all. At the moment, Casado at Chelsea is a player that, to me, is, is worth 20 million, 10, 20 million. No 110 million, no way near. Fernandez along Casado was dead. They were both dead in the middle of the pitch. Callagher, I don't, I don't want to even talk about Callagher. I don't want to even talk about Calca. Colo Palmer in and out, he wasn't at his best even, and he ended up to be injured. So you tell me one decent player that deserved to be top during the match we played against Sheffield United today. One. One! Second half, we didn't start well, and uh, uh, Sheffield United started to keep possession in a better way compared to the first half. Chelsea was holding, holding the pressure, we pressured, but it was holding a try to keep, you know, the 1-1 one -one result in a way. But they didn't make any effort to try to score another goal, because they never do, anyway. Luckily, in the 67 minutes, something switched there, and Chelsea started to push the Paris Ender a bit forward. From that point of view, we managed to score a goal with Madueke, which was a good goal. But then again, we thought we were going to what? 20 minutes from the end of the match, we are going to get three points here. So I was hoping, I was actually counting the minutes there, praying, please, we need the three points. We need the three points. Then I just look at the phone, three minutes, extra time, injury time. An equalizer from Sheffield United. So I just resigned just resigned because it's so predictable every single time every single game we play is so predictable 
We can't keep clean shit. We can't keep a resort. One. We always allow the op allow the op city to equalize or to even win the match. And that's the way the story goes on and on and on for Chelsea this season. It's just a joke. Now, should we blame the players all the time? Remember, we have 26, 27 players in a squad. Or we, do we need to sell all of them? Who's the point? Then we go bankrupt, ironically, should I say? <laughs> I don't want to say this, this is a, a sarcastic remark. But we, we need to try now to keep these players, but the only one to blame, unfortunately, fortunately, unfortunately, I don't know what to say, I don't want to want to be the one always pick up on Pochettino. He's the manager. He's the manager. He's the manager. There is no other person. You cannot blame the owners. The owners have put money in their pocket and they spend the money to bring players, young players, whatever players they are. It's the manager's job to make sure that those players play well on the pitch. And they don't. They don't behave as players. They don't understand the importance of play for the badge, for the team. They don't understand the value that Chelsea FC as good. They don't give a sugar, frankly, honestly. It seems like to me they don't care less. I do. You do, guys. We, they don't. They don't. That's the fact. As far as I'm aware, to comply to the financial fair play regulation, this isn't coming Chelsea as to sell out players, big names, good players. Uh, they mentioned Rhys James to be one of those names to be sold out of Chelsea FC in order to balance the books and make sure that Chelsea won't breach the rules, okay? Now, uh, I mentioned this in the last video. The problem is the way things are going right now. Are we going to manage to sell the players we got for the right amount of money, yes, to try to sell out 100 million worth of players. Because the way we are carry on, the way we carry on, the way those players play right now, no team will want to spend more than 10 million for all these players. Because we are playing like a middle table team. It's unbelievable. It's, it's, it's embarrassing. Is embarrassing the way Chelsea plays play this season. Embarrassing. It makes me feel ashamed to be a Chelsea fan in a way. But I don't care, I love this club anyway, regardless. If we go to third division, it'll be my team forever anyway. But it's the it's the principle, it's the principle, it's the point. Now, all of this speculation uh, about Chelsea breaching the FFP regulation are linked, of course, to transfer market uh, possible connection, okay, links, where Chelsea, of course, has to sell in order to buy. But the intention to buy is still there, especially considering the way Chelsea plays this season, the way Chelsea plays this season, so we need to buy new players. We need a new striker for sure, we need a good defender. And Chelsea are indeed looking for a striker and a defender. No expensive striker and no expensive defender. They are very interested in uh, Victor Grokiers from um, Sporting Lisbon, the striker the Sporting Lisbon has got. And uh, their central defender, uh, Osmane Diomande. The problem is that also Arsenal is linked with those two players. The problem is that also Arsenal is trying to 
get those players. And on a paper, Arsenal has got more chances to get those players than we have. Why? Because they are top of the league, we are not. They made a massive impression to the players. Okay? So the players will not want to come and play for Chelsea when they got the chance to go and play for a team like Arsenal. That is top of the league right now in the Premier League. You know what I'm talking about. The only way for Chelsea to get those two players, which I believe they are very, very good players, players that can be very useful for Chelsea, is to sack Pochettino, is to get Amorim as a manager from Sporting Lisbona. So if we manage to get Amorim from Sporting Lisbona as the next Chelsea manager, then I'm, I won't be surprised if Amorim will try to get both of the players to Chelsea FC. And that is for sure. I can guarantee you that. Now, guys, the next match Chelsea will play will be against Everton, Stamford Bridge, but not before the 15th of April. So there is a good week where Chelsea can rest their soul off at their mind and try to focus on understanding why they fail the way they do. Hopefully they'll have a week to put themselves together, to reason and to start to decode and figure out what's going on with them. Perhaps they'll have common sense to reason he understand they should play for the badge, it should work hard for the badge. It is the point. Pochettino, you know the way I feel for Pochettino. I pray God that those two months will go fast and next season we get a decent manager. Let it go, because it's, it's an almost win, and never win, it's an almost win. Now guys, um, I'd like, I like to thank you for watching. And uh, I would like again to remind you to subscribe to the channel and click the like button for me, please. And I see you soon. And remember, up the blues for me. And it was a pleasure for me to be with you today. Bye-bye, ciao.